Hey y'all, my name is Allie and I'm so thankful that you are here. I have I have a phone call from my love. My my Jamie! Hold on. Is it bad that when it's your own son, you're disappointed? <laughs> Oh, I thought it was Jamie, his fiance. Anyway, so we're here, we're here. Thank you so much for being here today. I have quite an announcement. Well, first off, I pulled the trigger on getting the A6 rings, the Vanderspeck A6 rings. I just had no more self-restraint. When I made this decision, I said, you know, I've never tried an A6 rings. I think there's something to be said for me, my curiosity in a different size or a different system, just to try it. Where I really have to be careful of is when I get the thing, when I get the A6 rings, that I'm not buying a ton of different A6 rings binders. Does that make sense? So like, while I'm curious about the A6 rings, I really made sure that it was something that I knew I would like and that I could use forever, that I really don't need to get any other a6 rings. I don't. I don't need to. This will be it kind of thing. We'll see. So I'm excited that it's coming in. I had the money saved up. So that was, I had it saved, but I sold my pilot, my limited edition vanishing point, the earth of water race. I sold it. <laughs> I sold it for more than I bought it for. I sold it for about the same price as the A6 rings. So it was a wash there as far as finances are concerned. But interestingly, I do still like Vanishing Point. I was just not using that Vanishing Point. And I think it was because I was treating it so precious because it's beautiful. It's a limited edition. You can barely find them in the world. In fact, you can't find them anymore. And this person had reached out to me and was like, Hey, I know this is a long shot, but are you ever going to sell that? I know you're de-stashing soon. And I was like, ah, nope, I'm not. But then I started thinking about it because I really, again, my goal is to get rid of stuff that I'm not using and I wasn't using it. So I emailed her back. I was like, Hey, are you still interested in that? And we struck a deal. We struck a deal, she paid me, it's on its way to her, and I'm really happy. Like, she's like got her unicorn pen, so congratulations, my friend, you have that pen, and it wasn't, I wasn't using it. So why did I buy another vanish, vanishing point? I don't know if this is considered a vanishing point, but why did I buy another clicky pen? I was intrigued, it's matte black, I really love black. You'll notice in my planner videos, I have my retractable uni something, and it's black. And I was like, you know what? I really just like black. I just, I mean, gosh, I wear black all the time. I wear black when I sing. I wear, I just wear black all the time. I like black, I like, it's classic. It's just a classic color. So I purchased the Mahjong, Ma, Mahjong, Mahjong, A1 clicky vanishing capless pen. Cheap. It was cheap compared to the 357 that I spent on the Pilot. There's a lot of controversy about this pen because it's it's almost an exact copy. Like when I took it out of the box, and I'm doing the talking head after I unbox, so spoiler, I've already taken it out of the box. When I took it out of this box, I was surprised at the weight of the pen. So I was like, oh my gosh, like this, this isn't a joke. Like this is, this is substantial. Again, I have it right here. I'm priming it right now. I needed to, I needed to take the time to like get it, the ink to flow down to the nib. I'm excited to go back tabletop to show you a writing sample. It feels so good though in the hands. All that to say, I did buy this because I wanted to be able to review it. And I have, bless you. I have written with a Pilot Vanishing Point, a really nice one, a Decimo. The feel of this one's, this one's a, the, the thicker barrel, the Decimo is smaller, but they, they feel very similar in the hand as far as the quality. We'll see about the writing. This is a steel nib, this is not gold. The Decimo Pilot Vanishing Point was gold, so it felt a little smoother in my opinion. Um, this one's like pretty hard. Like there was a little give, if that makes sense. And the other one that I had, this one's rock solid, which might be good because it might mean that I'll have a finer line. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see if it's uh, <gasps> it's starting to write. Okay, let's go tape top. Oh, let's see. I'm kind of curious if this is everything that everyone cracked it up to be. Um, I, 
Still a little shocked that I sold my Vanishing Point, but again, I wasn't using it. That one was a limited edition. It was like so precious, I wasn't using it. So maybe because this one's like not as precious to me because it's cheaper. Now, oh, that's, that's heavy. <gasps> that feels substantial. What in the world? Interesting. Moon Man, it still has Moon Man on the barrel. I guess they had. So there's a lot of controversy about Mahjong copying Pilot, basically. Oh, it's a clicky pen, too. It's so clicky. Yeah, this totally looks just like the uh, other one, pretty much. And I've, I've watched reviews and stuff on it. But I was just like, you know what? For a little bit less. Oh, that just flung out, didn't it? I could try this matte black, which I love black. Oh, look, it came with another, it came with another cartridge, y'all. I was using an empty cartridge with my other pen, with my Pilot Vanishing Point, because the converters are just tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny. And you get another one, too. You get a little eyedropper thing, and you get another cartridge with a stopper. That's nice if you want to change inks or whatnot. And then you get little, yeah, the converter, like I said before. That's pretty cool. It's a nice looking box. Okay, let's get some ink in this, shall we? I really am loving this ink. I know I use Noodlers, Noodlers Lexington Gray for a long, long time, but I'm, I'm into black now. And I, I haven't really, I don't really buy many inks. I'm just like gray or black. I don't have really colors or anything. I like this because it's rich. It dries pretty fast and it's like bulletproof. I always talk about like, what if a flood happens? I don't want to lose my stuff. I won't with this. So got some water right here to clean up because I know. And I moved, I moved everything because I didn't want to, you know, it just gets, it can get really messy. But this is exciting. I'm excited because I kind of like the thicker barrel of this actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. This is so convenient. Would you look at that? Maybe I can put this pen with my A6 rings that I just bought. Did I tell you all that? Did I tell you I got A6 rings? <laughs> I, I totally, I, uh, Pulled the trigger for that. Some of these like stationary items are actually investments because I I paid about three fifty for my vanishing point and I sold it for four hundred <laughs> with shipping included. But still, four hundred dollars. I got more than what I paid for it. Okay, I think I know what's happening. This I almost did a, a bad thing. <laughs> Thanks for not doing a bad thing, Allie. Okay, just shove that in there. And it's probably gonna have to prime upside down for a little bit. Okay, let's see. This goes here, because I'm trying to remember with my, my pilot. It actually feels really nice. Okay, nice. This is really cool. So cool. Okay, let that dry out. Let me get some, um, I'm gonna get some Tomoe. This was an insert that I had in my stash when I was going through stuff and I'm not gonna use it A6 notebook like TN style anymore. So I've been cutting them up and printing on them for my A6 rings that's coming. So let's see, I know this is not gonna be right away. It needs to prime. It's very hard. The nib is extremely hard compared to my pilot. And that's because this is steel, I believe. It's not gold, but it might give you a really good fine line though. And I believe I did buy an extra fine is what I purchased. I'm gonna wait for a little bit and let this prime for a little bit up like this, and then I'll be back. I just realized that my microphone was in the corner of my shot. Boo. So now I'm gonna have to crop, meh. Okay, y'all, it started to write. Is that this closest I can go? Look, 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 look. That is a fine line if I do say so myself. Okay, look how small. So I write really, I can write really small, watch. Oh, 
Okay. It's like, it's getting juicier. It's getting juicier. So, but here's, here's my, here's my finger. <laughs> I write really small. I can write bigger. See? That is very, very pleasant, actually. I almost prefer it. I need something, though. This is just a thin to my river on my jaggedy desk. So maybe I should... I'm pretty sure I ordered fine. Now I kind of wonder if I should have done extra fine. Hmm, let's see. Oh, this is extra fine, it says. It says extra fine. Yeah, this is extra fine. It's not extra fine, in my opinion. I believe it's fine. This definitely is more like a fine, and it is kind of like a 0.5, I bet you. I bet you it's like a 0.5. That's what it reminds me of. Hmm, do I have a 0.5? I don't think I have a 0.5, honestly, but this is a sailor. This is my sailor dragon place. And this is, this is, um, they call it, a, I think a medium fine or something. I think they call it a medium fine. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just think they're um, fun. Interesting, but I will say this. It is a very pleasant writing experience. I do love the sailor because it's got that feedback that everyone talks about and I didn't know what they were talking about until I wrote with it because I'm a very sensitive person. I have sensory issues. I actually like the feedback that I get. Like it's pleasant to me. It's, I could write forever with this pen, which is part of the reason why I was okay too to, to let go of my vanishing point because my pilot, because man, this right here has been a joy to use. Um, but then I wanted to still see if I could try this one, but this is pretty, this is a lot bigger of a, of a line in my opinion. What would I usually write? So that would probably be to me the drawback is that this one, it's not horrible though. It's not horrible. For print, it's not bad at all. Oh, I really like it actually. And I don't mind the bigger barrel and I don't mind the clip. Of course, I didn't mind the clip with my other one either. I like it. And it's cheap. This pen right here compared Compare, it was $40, $39.99. I'll put a link in the, in the thing. This was $39.99 and it feels, it feels like, like heavy. You know what I mean? I can see myself journaling with this pen. My children are going fishing. Well, Ashton and his fiance are going fishing. Hi, Jamie. I gotta go help rig them up. Hold on. Okay, so. They wanted to go fishing, so um, I'm the fisherman in the house, not my husband. <laughs> I grew up fishing. Anyway, so I like this a lot. I really like it. I think it's not too, too thick of a line. It's definitely reminiscent to me of like a Lamy fine, for sure. I think Lamy actually could be even thicker than that. It's very smooth. I like how it writes. You get a little bit of feedback, not as much as the sailor. But I like it. I like it a lot and I will use it. It's so much cheaper than than the Pilot. Um, so then that puts me at, this is what I have. I have my Sailor Dragon Palace, this Mahjong A1 Vanishing Point, Capless, whatever you want to call it. I do still have one Lamy Safari mint color. I don't know what they called it. I've got a Twisby Mini, which I'm kind of debating selling this one. Um, and then I have a white that's been nib smithed by Kirk. And then my, my kind of one of my favorites. I, this has been coming my, my favorite. Like that's my favorite right now. These are the only fountain pens that I own right now because I'm selling the rest of them. But I might sell the Lamy. I'm not sure. It's just pretty. I'm leaning more of selling that Twisby. But the cream, the cream with the rose gold, also smithed by Kirk at Penrome. They write, they're 0.3 line. You can write really fine with this one, like super duper fine. Look how tiny that is. This is what I have now. That's it. 
Um, I say that's it. That's a lot. I was tempted to sell the white one too that I had smithed because like, do I need two of the Ecos actually? I'm almost positive I might get rid of this one. Um, we'll see. We'll keep it in there. But that's what I have. That's my little fountain pen collection. But it was really to showcase this, which I really, really enjoy. I love. And the clicking feature feels really nice. I thought it'd feel cheaper. It's definitely not as smooth as the vanishing point that I had, but it's not horrible. We'll see how it lasts over time. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you all today. If you're considering a vanishing point type pen, this is a really great option that's for $40 right now on Amazon. I still think my favorite pen right now is my Sailor. <laughs> and that surprises me a lot. I don't journal with this one. I'm, I do a lot of my planning and my morning daily page stuff with this pen. And then I do journal with this one because I just write. I write so, so much. They all have black. Like I don't have, I don't really venture out in different colors. I just use black for everything. But this is what I have. Thank you all so, so much for spending your time with me today and um, checking this video out. If you like these videos and you like more planner, stationary type videos, then if you consider subscribing and liking and all those things, that would be so kind. I have a setup of my mini coming. I will be having uh, an unboxing of my VDS rings when it comes in. It's not gonna come in for a while. They have a pretty good weight right now, but I have a lot of good things in store. I'm very, very excited about being back on a filming schedule. And I just love y'all so much. Y'all are so wonderful. I, I'm so thankful for you that you're here. I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day full of joy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.